Can't stand to stand me, won't stand for it, even stand will stand for me Take the stand, minutes of YouTube truth, I know you can't stand it Trauma and drama, this is relative hatred What is the reason for uh, the, vow, the vile and uh, uh, the foul mouth uh, language? You know, I received a lot of hatred, bitterness. Also, you know, uh, and I just slander libel, but just a lot of derogatory terms thrown at me, like, you know, Tarnovo uh, Muzin, you know, especially from, uh, you know, the Polish community. You know, one of the the biggest proponent of that was uh, the first one was, uh, you know, Jacek Lech, my cousin, you know, and uh, we were sitting around in, uh, 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 in, his, in his living room, you know, uh, in 2004, I went, uh, to Poland, I was, you know, I was uh, having a hard time here. I was drinking a lot, and, and you know, I was just losing my mind. I was sad, depressed, and it was just like one of the worst, uh, you know, times of my life, you know. And uh, so, you know, I, I get to Poland. It was like the second or third week, and we're sitting around, and you know, his sister, uh, she's sitting in the other room, and you know, this guy just, you know, we're talking about something, and you know, I don't know if he, if he defended his, you know, his soccer club, and you know. I made a joke that they were losing or something. It was something petty and ridiculous. Like he was, he was joking, joking around with me, you know. And uh, first of all, you know, he started off with these jokes about different terms for uh, some of that uh, masturbates, right? And, and you know, he, he was, he was, he was calling me all these uh, names in Polish, this and that, which was actually kind of disgusting. But and then you know, he kind of. He kind of uh, uh, fell off from that, and you know, he start he called me a charno, which is like you know, Polish. Some people, Polish people say that's the most derogatory term you could call a black person, you know. And uh, some time uh, passed after that, and uh, I, I think I ended up on a well on a TV show, you know, especially this. Uh, I forgot what the what the guy's name, but uh, he has the same last name as the kid that uh, stalked me to work, Kubiszewski. You know, I'm pretty sure it's him because I saw something else. Except I didn't see myself on that, but uh, you know, uh, the the conversation went along, and you know, and they made a joke like you know, who, oh, who called you a charno? And you know, I thought I was looking at uh, my cousin Yatsik, and it was this, this this rapper guy, I think, you know. But it's just you know, it, it's acceptable, you know. Uh, a lot of people just call somebody a just derogatory term, and you know, if I was a black person, I but I get I get it why you call me that, you know. You just, you know, you, you have, you know, you have a racial hatred and, you know, you want to degrade me to the color of my skin. You know, you're a vile person. But I just, I never understood. It's like, is it the way I walk? Is it the way I dress? Or you heard somebody say that and you were just so angry. You know, obviously the guy, you know, doesn't like me or hates me, you know. He will probably, you know, as far as my cousin Yance is concerned, you know, he would have liked to see a lot of violence thrown on me for no particular reason. You know, it just so happens there was a, there was a shooting and, uh, there was a, you know, there was a guy that, you know, he had a, a swastika painted on a soul rifle, you know? It's like, you know, there's just too, just too much hatred and hating people for no particular reason. Or hating somebody or disliking them because, you know, they're uh, either, like, I figure they're, uh, they're not as stupid as you. I mean, it could go either way, you know? Because you don't get along with somebody, you don't get uh, the right respect, this and that. You know, you don't play around with that, so, you know... You're gonna uh, infringe, infringe violence upon them. Uh, you know, speaking of Yatsik there, you know, 2021, you know, he was messaging me and uh, telepathically. I know people laugh at that, ha ha ha, but you know, but you know, he was him and uh, his uh, and my other cousin Aga, that Yeshka, you know, they were instigating that, you know, a couple of when then I was gonna get assaulted by the Royal Police Department or maybe State Police Department for things I didn't even do. And they will perpetuate thoughts in my mind, you know, that it's going to happen at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Or we, we know what time it is. And, you know, Yatsuk over there was lying to me in his mind that I kicked him with like a 93, 94, some minuscule stuff, you know. You know, that's what, you know, he had a grievance towards me. You know, my other cousin there, Robert, you know, when I texted him, he had a grievance that me and this kid made fun of him once and like, you know, 92 or 93. And it's like been 20, 30 years. I'm talking, I was talk, texting him about... You know, uh, being uh, not just arrested for like you know, uh, for things I didn't even do, and the you know the case still going on. I was telling him, you know, how he was, you know, defecating when he was uh, you know, seven eight years old, and I, I stood up for him, and you know how they let him stand in front of uh, 
in front of my, my grandparents' house. People passing by, it just looked creepy and disgusting. And, and he just went in over at me, and this came Mario telling me in front of him, like, 92, 93. You know, so it's like, I don't understand simple-minded people. I don't think I ever want to understand. And as far as calling the F word, oh, it happens all the time. You know what I mean? I'm not inhumane. I'm not a weak person. I had, you know, moments of my life I was totally weak and uh, drinking every day to the point, you know, it brought me disparity. But as far as I don't have any homosexual or uh, uh, tendencies or pedophile tendencies. You know, a lot of times on the internet and in real life, I'll catch hatred because, you know, I stood up to pedophiles. And then, you know, it was a whole wave that they were trying to call me a pedophile now. But I remember also Yatsik in 2004, after he called me Charlie, you know, we were doing some work around my grandma's house. And he just, you know, he was just very bitter and hateful. Like, he didn't want to spend time with just, you know, very angry at me, you know. So, uh after a while, I, you know, I left Poland and he came back over here, you know, and he just, you know, he was always like, you know, just had out, he stayed in my, in my room. He was just, you know, I remember one time it was like, you know, it was late at night and it was just like, I had no air conditioning in my room. My, our house, you know, has central air. So I, you know, it wasn't strong enough. I lightly opened the window and he just started like, you know, being angry, closing, you know, I'm going to get sick, this and that, like a, like a little coward, like a fucking coward. To your point, I just closed it. I just you know, was like, what the fuck, man? You know, I just had enough of him. I always had. But, you know, uh, it, you know, it's just about that phrase and that term, how people use it loosely. You know, how it just, you know, it's so derogatory, but people are just, you know, they feel obliged. They have the strength and courage to, you know, use it on somebody. Like, it's, it, it's, it's their right. 